So today we're going to be demonstrating the base station software, um, which is how we show the load uh, with our award-winning range of smart load, load links and load cells. So here we've got one of our load links. We're going to connect up to that really simply. Uh, we can see on the back of the load link here, we've got a serial number of 113320. So we just need to look at that on the left-hand side of our screen here and drag it in. Really simple, that's how we connect up. So once we've dragged that in, we can see some basic information here straight away. The battery life and what the load is on that, uh, on that cell. So it's uh, showing pretty much zero at the moment because obviously we've got no load on that cell. Now uh, what we've also got here for demonstration purposes, we call this a dummy transducer. Well, that's a load cell simulator. That's switched on as well. You can see we've got a serial number 117453 on that, which appears on the side of our screen just here. So again, we drag that in, and now we're showing that as a separate load cell. Uh, we've got some basic information uh, showing on here at the moment. We can expand that by clicking here and show a little bit more information. So what we can do with this load cell is we can rename it, we can view the calibration certificate, we can actually calibrate the load cell using this software as well. Um, we can power down the load cell to preserve a little bit of battery life. And what we're interested in really showing you today um, is its uh, data logging functionality. Every smart load load cell or load link has data logging functionality built in a standard, just requires an upgrade to our logging variant of the base station software. So we're going to see that, uh, see that working. So by using our dummy transducer or load cell simulator, if I turn this, this knob at the end here, we can see the load increasing both here in numbers, we've got, uh, got that showing in kilograms and also on our little graph here as well. So if we keep on going up we'll show you another little function of this load cell which is the overload. So we've got an overload alarm set on this, it's 10,000 kilograms, so we're going up to 9,000, 10,000 kilograms. So you can see straight away that we've got an overload warning showing here with time and date so you can identify when that uh, load link was or load cell was overloaded but also you can probably hear a beep going on in the background that's just showing that simultaneously we can be showing that data on a handset with a again a visual and audible alarm to let you know you're over, you're overloaded when we come below that 10,000 kilograms you hear straight away that alarm goes off, okay? For a bit of added safety, should you be using an optional handset at the same time as the base station. So now we've shown that load going up and down a few times, we can now view that um, on our data logs. So if we click on here, view device logs, that's gonna open up our our log files that are available to view and also download straight into Excel format. So if we firstly view our event log, take a moment to download, straight into Excel here, we can see exactly what's happened with that load cell and we're date and time stamped for everything that's happened um, on, this, uh, on this load cell. So the date that it was initialized and first connected up, um, also the important data, which is when we've had an overload occurrence. So in terms of protecting your assets, um, you, can, you can look back at this data to see any particular times when a load has gone beyond what uh, the operator has been advised that they should be going to. So that's that, that overload event log. The second log that we've got to view here is our full log, log file. So again, if we view that, it will download, open straight up in Excel. And we've got various different, uh, uh, different logs here. We've got the average load in kilograms. Again, time and date stamped. 
we've got the minimum and maximum loads that it's seen, time and date stamped, and we've also got the raw data files should you want to pull that into different reports of your own. And that is data logging and the base station software.